Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at an example illustrating the direct form 2 realization of an in infinite impulse response system. It is given a system equation y of n equal to minus 0.1 y of n minus 1 plus plus 0.2 y of n minus 2 plus 3 times x of n plus 3.6 times x of n minus 1 and finally 0.6 x of n minus 2. So given this system equation we want to build the direct form 2 realization that is we want to realize the direct form 2 structure. So that is the goal. So the first step is we have to find the system function. We apply Z transform on both sides of the system equation. So we get Y of Z multiplied by 1 plus 0.1 Z inverse that is for this term and then minus 0.2 Z power minus 2 that is for the second term. Now on the right side we have X of Z multiplied by 3 plus 3.6 Z inverse that is for this X of N minus 1 and then plus 0.6 z power minus 2. So from this equation we can easily write the system function as h of z which is basically the ratio of y of z upon x of z. So it should be equal to 3 plus 3.6 z inverse plus 0.6 z power minus 2. And then we have 1 plus 0.1 z inverse and minus 0.2 z power minus. So that is the system function. Now the next step is to decompose this uh, system function h of z. It is h of z is written as h1 of z multiplied by h2 of z. So unlike the direct form structure here h1 of z is not the all zero system. Here the h1 of z is the all pole system that is 1 by 1 plus 0.1 z inverse minus 0.2 z power minus 2. So that is the h1 of z and then h2 of z will be an all zero system that is it is 3 plus 3.6 z inverse plus 0.6 z power minus 2. So therefore we have system uh, the system can be depicted as follows that is x of n goes to a, the first system that means it has h1 of z and then we get w of n that goes through h2 of z and we get the output y of n. So the key difference between direct form 1 and direct form 2 is that the key difference between direct form 1 and direct form 2 is that h1 of z in direct form 1 is an all zero system here h1 of z is a all pole system and here h2 of z is the all zero system. So it is in reverse order compared to direct form 1. So w of n can be written as w of n can be recovered from h1 of z. So w of n, so w of n will be the z inverse z transform of w of z. So, so the relation between w of z and x of z can be written as follows. That is w of z will be equal to x of z multiplied by h1 of z. That is the all pole filter. That is all pole system. That is one plus. 0.1 z inverse minus 0.2 z power minus 2 and similarly y of z that is to derive the relation between y of n and w of n we can write y of z as h2 of z that is 3 plus 3.6 z power minus 1 plus 0.6 z power minus 2 multiplied by w of z. So that is the relation between y of z and w of z. And this one is the relation between w of z and x of z. So we can write the time domain relationship that is we can write the time domain relations between w of n and x of n as follows. So from this uh, z transform that is from this system function definitions that is w of z is equal to x of z by 1 plus 0.1 z inverse minus 0.2 z power minus 2 we can write the relation as w of n will be equal to so because of this 0.1 z power minus 1 and minus 0.2 z power minus 2 we have minus of minus is we have minus 0.1 w of n minus 1 and then we also have plus 
0 0.2 w of n minus 2 and finally the input x of n that is when you send this denominator to the left side we have w of z into 1 plus 0.1 z power minus 1 and minus 0.2 z power minus 2 so when we apply inverse z transform what we will get is w of n plus 0.1 w of n minus 1 so if you send it to the right side we have minus 0.1 w of n minus 1 and similarly we also have minus 0.2 w of n minus 2 on the left side so which is sent to right so we have it is uh, once it comes to the right side we have plus 0.2 w of n minus 2 and then the last term that is 1 into x of z the inverse z transform is x of n so this is equation 1 that is a this will be the first component or the uh, relation between the intermediate output w of n and then its previous values and the input x of n. Now, to derive the relation between y of n and w of n, we just look at this all zero system that is y of n will be basically a linear combination of the different values of w of n that is current value 3 times w of n and then 3.6 times w of n minus 1 that is the previous value and finally 0 0.6 times w of n minus 2. So, we derive that expression from this relation. So, that is equation number 2. Now, we can build the direct form 2 structure by using these two equations. So, we have the input x of n and we also have the intermediate output w of n and then we will have the out final output y of n. So, by looking at these two equations, we can clearly see that uh, both of them have common terms that is these two equations have a common term that is uh, w of n minus 1 and w of n minus 2. So, we do not have to use uh, different delays. So, we can just use two delays for these two w of n minus 1 and w of n minus 2. So, we have So, for the first part we have w of n is equal to minus 0.1 w of n minus 1. So, this will be w of n and this will be w of n minus 1. So, it is going towards left uh, for the first part. So, it is minus 0 0.0.1 0 .1 and the second weight will be plus 0 0.2. So, it will be 0 0.2 and then so uh, this part gives us w of n will be equal to x of n minus 0 0.1 w of n minus 1 and plus 0 0.2 w of n minus and for the right part that is for the second equation we have y of n is equal to 3 times w of n and then 3.6 times w of n minus 2 that is 3.6 times w of n minus sorry that is 3.6 multiplied by w of n minus 1 and finally 0 0.6 multiplied by w of n minus 2 that is 0 0.6 multiplied by w of n minus. So, that means basically at this delay we have w of n minus 1 and at this one we have w of n minus 2 and they go in both directions. First one for, for the all zero uh, that is first one going to the all pole system and the second one going to the all zero system. So, the combination gives us the direct form to structure. So, to summarize we are given the system function or the system equation y of n is equal to minus 0.1 y of n minus 1 plus 0.2 y of n minus 2 plus 3 times x of n plus 3.6 times x of n minus 1 plus 0.6 times x of n minus 2. So, that is a system equation. Now, uh, uh, for the first and uh, the, the first step is to we have to find the system function. So, this can be done by uh, simply applying the z transform on both sides. So, h of z is given to be is found to be 3 plus 3.6 z inverse plus 0.6 z power minus 2 upon 1 plus 0.1 z inverse minus 0.2 z power minus 2. So, that is the h of z. So, in direct form 2 realization or approach, we decompose h of z as h1 of z into h2 of z, where h1 of z will be the all pole system, h2 of z will be the all zero system. So, x of n goes through h1 of z, that is through the all pole system, we get w of n and that one goes through h2 of z, which is basically all zero system. So, we can derive the time domain relations between x of n and w of n and w of n and y of n from the corresponding h1 of z and h2 of z. So, from uh, the uh, definition of w of z that is w of z is related to x of z as w of z is equal to x of z by 1 plus 0.1 z inverse minus 0.2 z power minus 2 that is through an all pole system and y of z is related to w of z through an all zero system that is 3 plus 3.6 z inverse 
plus 0.6 z power minus 2. Now by looking at these relations, these relations we can derive the time domain equation that is w of n is equal to minus 0.1 w of n minus 1 and plus 0.2 w of n minus 2 and then plus x of n that is the relation between x of n and w of n that is the output here and then for the second one we have y of n is equal to 3 times w of n plus 3.6 times w of n minus 1 and 0.6 times w of n minus 2 that is what we have here. And from these two equations, we can easily build the direct form 2 structure. That is, uh, W of n goes through two delays and then uh, it can go in both directions. That is, the left one goes through the all pole system and the right one goes through the all zero system. And finally, we get the output Y of n. Thanks for watching.